Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from JRC. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own home automation system and control your home appliances through a mobile app from anywhere. What you need for this project is a Wemos D1 R1 board, which is Wi-Fi enabled, a relay module, female to male jumper wires, and a USB to micro USB cable to connect the Wemos to your laptop. First, let's open our Arduino IDE. The mobile app that we are going to use to control our appliances is called Blink. So, we have to download the Blink library in our Arduino IDE. To do that, we have to go to Tools, then Manage Libraries and type Blink in the search bar. Then we click on Install. This library also works with ESP8266, Arduino Uno and Nano. When the download is done, you can see that the library is installed. After installing the library, we should also add the needed board. If you go to boards, you will not see the Wemos D1 in the list. What we should do now is go to File, then Preferences, and paste this link in the additional boards URL, which I will leave in the description below. After that, we should go to Boards Manager and type in the search bar ESP8266. We can see the additional boards and one of them is the Wemos D1 R1 that we need for our project. So we click on Install and it will start downloading the files. When the installation is done, if we go to boards, we will see the newly installed boards. We have to select the Wemos D1 R1 board. Our next step is go to the examples that are already downloaded with the Blink app. In the examples section, we scroll down to Blink, then Wi-Fi, and we choose the ESP8266 standalone example. It will open a new file that already has the libraries and the code written where we only have to change the authentication token, the SSID and the password. Now on your mobile device, you should go and download the Blink app from the App Store or Play Store. I already downloaded it, so I'll just go to Blink. Here. You can create a new project, see your apps, and connect to Blink community. So I will create a new project and name it Home Automation. Then I will choose the device, which is Wemos D1 R1. The connection is Wi-Fi. And I will create my app. They will send me the authentication token to my email, which I will use later in my Arduino code. As you can see, they will add some energy to your balance to buy the controllers and displays that you need. And then, if you needed more energy, you can buy it from their store. You can notice the different categories such as controllers, displays, notification, and many other categories. In our project, we will need a button. After adding the button, you can change its properties by clicking on it. I will change the title to Living Room Light. Then I will select its pin. I will choose the digital pin D7. Then I will put it on the switch mode and not push button mode. Also, you can specify the button's shape. 
When you go back, you will see the title and the pin selected. Now, we should go to our email to check the authentication token that they sent specifically for this project. I will select and copy the token. Then, I will go to the ESP standalone example that I opened in Arduino and paste the authentication token in the code. In the SSID section, put the name and then the password of the Wi-Fi network that the Wemos will connect to. Then, click on verify to make sure that your code is correct. After compiling is done, we have to connect the Wemos board to our laptop to upload our Arduino code using the USB cable. We go to Tools, then Ports to choose the right port. Then we click on Upload and wait for the upload process to be done. Now, let's see how we should connect the different components of our project together. Here, we have the Wemos D1 and the relay that will act as an electronic switch of our light or appliance. And this is the power supply. And let's pretend that this is our living room light or appliance. First, we connect the power supply of the relay. We should connect the 5V on the Wemos board to the VCC of the relay. Then, connect the ground of the Wemos to the ground of the relay. And finally, we connect the signal S of the relay to the digital pin D7 on the Wemos board. By that, we finish the connection between the relay and the Wemos board. Now, we should connect the power supply to the relay and it will control our light or any appliance. First, we connect the line to the COM port on the relay, which is the middle port. And the neutral is connected directly to the light. Then, the normally open is connected to the appliance. So, as a summary, the neutral is connected directly to the light and the line is connected to the relay and then connected from the relay to the light or any appliance you have. Now, I will show you how this DIY project works in real life. As you can see, the relay is connected to the Wemos board, which is in turn connected to the Wi-Fi network. Using the button that we added in the Blink app, we are now able to control the relay, which will control any appliance or light we have in our home. If you liked this video and would like to see more tech-related videos, 
Please subscribe to my channel and don't hesitate to leave any question in the comments section below. Have a great day.